Hey guys, I have a project show for you today. This is a um, design team project that I made for Victoria Designs. I will link their channel down in the description. You can go there to watch the full tutorial because I have made a full tutorial using this amazing kit called my reading nook. I mean, if you've seen any of my videos, you know how much I adore books, anything with books and text on. And so this design, I mean, this design that I've used for my front cover, I kind of want to print it out full size and frame it because it's so pretty. It's purple, it's books, it's text. I just, it's me. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see how I made this, the full tutorial is over on Victoria Designs. Please go watch it. Give them some love. It's been an absolute honour to be on the design team and um, I really look forward to doing so again, hopefully. But yes, so I made a do si -do album. Now, I've never made a do si -do album before, um, so it was an interesting process. Um, I learned a lot. I've shared a lot with you on the tutorial of things that I might have done slightly differently or that worked really, really well. So if you've not made a do si -do, please go and check it out. Essentially, what a do si -do is, is it's a two-part album. So if I show you the top, you can see there's two openings. Um, and so essentially, it's just an album that you keep flipping to... Um, the left. You keep turning and you keep turning and you'll end up back on the front cover. So let me just show you the front cover and the spine for this one. Oh, this, look, it's got books, it's got leather bound books, it's got a little... Oh, this paper collection. Ah. Um, I will link down in the description as well where you can purchase this paper kit because it is stunning. Okay, so uh, what you do, because of this design, I didn't want to add flaps up and down and flaps to the right because I wanted to keep the flow of turning everything to the left so that's what we're going to do so you open out the front cover gorgeous design again this will hold your four by six photos beautifully you'll get the nice border on the majority of the pages you will get that sorry I did not mention the size this is six by seven and a half with a one and three quarter total spine. So yes, as I say, your four by sixes will fit beautifully in this. And that is how I designed it. So first page, we've got a little pocket and I made a little bookmark using this paper. Look how stunning this paper is. It's so pretty. So that goes into your bookmark. And then all we do is we flip to the side. We've got a small page here that would take smaller photos with a tuck spot even do your three by five just if you wanted to trim it down look at this paper would you look at this paper oh but again your four by sixes will fit beautifully there um and then you just keep flipping another another gorgeous page again this one has a tuck so you could tuck your photo behind so I say it's designed for a four by six photo size and you just keep flipping to the side another one this with the Shakespeare at the bottom so I would tuck my photo there and then maybe dab a dot of glue there just to keep that flap down another one with text on it's so beautiful flip it to the side another look at this paper another tuck spot William Shakespeare there the embellishments and the cutter parts for this are just stunning um, so the next set that's what we've got this is one set of pages next set look at this the lily series with oh I, I almost don't want to put photos on this because i love this paper so much again you just flip another page flip another page with a tuck spot look how gorgeous your photo will look with that in front of it oh i can't i can't go on about this paper enough i genuinely can't another one bibliotheque Go another this page with all the books on. <gasps> another one there. I used again my favourite page. And then right at the end again, we have another one of those pocket pages with a bookmark in this time. Jane Eyre, Little Women. Just stunning. And then we hit the back cover. And all you do is you flip the back cover open, over rather, not open, you flip it over, and you have a new front cover. And again, this spine, I used the same paper. I did use a craft card 
deco edged piece just to add some aged effect to it and then you open this front cover and you have a journal the journal pages in this mm. anyway added a tiny little tuck spot in the corner here with two of the little cut parts the elements in this paper collection are stunning i cannot i cannot and so then they have journal pages and when i say that this collection includes journal pages just as i'm flicking through this have a look at how pretty it is because it's not just a journal page it's a journal page with ripped edges with a backing most of the pages with images on i mean this one this one's got a tea stain the attention to detail in these papers is stunning so yeah just going to flick through this the majority of these i left alone because they're so pretty as they are as i say you've got the colored border with text on you've got elements you've got pictures this is a sh page from pride and prejudice one from alice you've got the um typewriter printed on bookmark this gorgeous image here and so all these pages are beautiful what i did was cut them out and edged with some brown just to give it that aged effect on a couple of pages i added embellishments and i'll show you those but the majority i just left alone now this is bound just with some twine okay so you could add more and slide more in here you could untie it i've left a lot of excess so you could untie it and add double the amount in here if you wanted to i just printed off each page once and made two journal sections but you could add a lot more to this but just look at the details on these pages like the, in the element oh so pretty uh, i used a blue twine because all of the papers i edged in blue to give it that kind of leather bound book look it was a cross between blue green and red and i thought the blue went best with all the colors involved um so yeah i'm just going to keep flicking through these they're so so pretty they printed out double-sided beautifully with no bleeding in between them just with standard um printer paper i didn't use thick card for this i just used printer paper and they printed back to back effortlessly you can see there none of this shows on the other side stunning and another william shakespeare page so that's the end of the first insert at the start of the second one i added one of their cut out pockets Oh, now my fingers don't want to work so they do have these pockets on the elements pages so i added one of those a little library ticket come on camera oh there we go a little library ticket and a little cut apart tag just tucked in there just because this page was plainer i thought i would add something to it the majority of them as i say i left on sorry my fingers don't want to work today i left on oh my gosh okay i left as they are because they're so so pretty again with the tea stain just the attention to detail and the way these are layered together so the start of a letter i just oh i love them i love them so much i had so much fun playing with this paper little women i love that one with the cat sleep on the books that would look beautiful if you had a tiny photo like a little polaroid picture or something that you could cut into a circle or an oval would fit perfectly in there it would look so pretty wouldn't it but of course you can use these just to stick photos on you know you can stick your four by six pictures on here and that will thicken it all up it's entirely up to you whether you want to use this as a journal to journal in or whether you want to add photos you could do both you could add a picture and journal on the other page you know and um, this one was another plain one so again i added a little um tuck spot another binding the same way i've double knotted it there is a lot of excess thread here if you wanted to add way more journal pages you can see they are shorter than the book so you could add more oh, i love this one purple chair and books i mean if you know me then you know how much i love this collection it was such a good collection to work with don coyote jane eyre i love this because these almost look like i've stamped them in and i haven't these come as standard this is how these papers are designed it's so so pretty great gatsby it's just so pretty i love it and again you've got room on the back and front and then you flip this again 
and you're back to the very front so it's almost like a never-ending album you just keep turning pages and you will flip through it again so yeah that's it from the top again so you've got the album side and the journal side you can make two albums if you had like i wish i'd built this um years ago and known about this design years ago because i made a an album for twins um a boy and a girl and they wanted very much blue and pink and so i could have done one side and one side and they could have had their own so, do you know what i mean there's just so many elements you could add into this um there's a lady who is um on my twitch who wants to do um an album that is part sewing themed part star wars and this would be perfect for that have a sewing themed section and a star wars section like it would be it would just work so well so many ways to do this i did not add a closure um it sits quite nicely if, if you're going to sit it on a shelf then it will sit nicely if you lay it down it will sit nicely you could add a ribbon i did consider adding mm -hmm. because you don't want to stick a ribbon on because if you stick a ribbon on and you tie it closed how are you going to reopen it if that makes sense but you could just add this ribbon it's far too long so just ignore the length of the ribbon you could add a beautiful ribbon closure if you want it to stay closed the entire time and then you could just undo it and take it off um, or you could glue it to one cover if you wanted to you could make a belly band um, I'll link the video so I did a Christmas album that had a belly band that you could just slide on and off slide off the belly band and then you can open it up it's entirely up to you how you close this I chose not to because I want to see this the whole time so for me I would have that against a wall sits fine I would have that on a shelf sits fine you know it doesn't open unless you pull it it, it will stay closed so I didn't think it required one and the other thing you have to be careful of is not to put like flowers and 3d elements because then when you turn this over the whole thing will be wonky does that make sense but other than that i love this design of album i think it's really really unique and i was honored again to be working with the amazing papers from victoria designs so if you'd like to see the tutorial please go and check it out on their channel um i will link below to the tutorial and to the um etsy store where you can buy this kit i really hope you've enjoyed this if you have please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next one keep crafting bye